One sec, my cats are trolling again. Really? You getting in on the bis list? All right, what's your thoughts? No? Okay. This is going to be my SOD breakdown. It's going to be a bis list. We're going to talk about talents. We're going to talk about runes and basically everything that I think is bis. And then we will also talk about options, potential stuff they could change, stuff that we think that we like, stuff that we don't like, stuff that we think they should change, ideas, all that good stuff. Going to do a little bit of a sort of workshop with the chat. We're going to just kind of talk, chat about what we think is cool, hear some chat's opinions, that kind of stuff. So that might be like a separate video. But yeah, the first video is going to be all bisless, good stuff. Uh, laying my, my thoughts and opinions on everything. So yeah, first is going to be just like bright eye goggles. Uh, you got a few options. I don't think that spell damage and healing is going to be that good in general. So you'll see most of my gear, if not all of it, actually skips uh, any form of spell damage. Priests don't scale that hard with damage. Other than things like uh, your dots. Your dots scale well with good damage. But I think like Mind Blast... The way that you need to uh, consider it is it's 1.5 over 3.5 times 100. That's your scaling. Bum, bum, blast. 5% crit reduction helms might be worth. I mean, they're not even on here yet, right? Is, this, is that what this is? Reduces damage taken and chance to be critically hit by 5% in Warsong. I mean, in Warsong, you're going to use this for sure. 100%. If there's one for the open world, then... Of course, but this does nothing in open world, right? Or in duels. This is Warsong Goggles, Shannon. So yeah, Bright Eye Goggles just with NG. Everyone's going to have NG. If you don't have NG, you're trolling. So Bright Eye Goggles, pretty good. Obviously, the Lucky Fishing Hat is okay. Deep Dive Helmet, if you're a gnome, you can use for the 15 stems. But uh, I think the, the fact that you get 9 Spirit from this as well is pretty good. Droplet Choker. That's a BFD drop. Looks decent. 5 stam, 6, uh, six Spirit. There's not many options, really. I mean, this could be okay, but I think the stats are more reliable. You can get an eagle as well. So there's, that's another option, right? You could go for, <clears throat> go for one of these. That's definitely not bad either. Uh, shoulders is going to be feline mantle. Uh, I believe this is a quest. No, is this just from Shadowfang? Yeah, Shadowfang keep. Easy pickup. 10 in, 3 spirit. Um... Yeah, you can you can pick up an eagle item as well. Sage's mantle, the eagle's fine. You know, either either or. Uh, so back we got flowing scarf. Again, this looks like a um, a BFD piece actually. Oh damn, can we go? Here we go. Five int six spirit. I think you can also go for like an eagle. Um, four and four. The BOEs are more easily obtainable. I say more easily obtainable. They're easier to grind than the, the blue stuff. Things like, what well, you need to keep in mind, things like this Cutthroat's Cape of the Eagle, right? It's an item level 30, requires level 25. Now, you're gonna have to kill mobs that are like, I think 30 and above to actually even get this to drop, right? So it's not easy to grind things like this because the level cap is gonna be 25. So there's not gonna be that many of these things around, right? You're gonna have to be doing higher level stuff, killing higher level mobs, Probably with a group, getting loads of resists, misses, all that kind of stuff. It's going to be a pain to get stuff like this. So they're not going to be cheap. Uh, next week, the Clam Weave Tunic. Love the name of this, by the way. Uh, you, you could also potentially go for the, the Black Velvet Robes. It's kind of the reverse, right? High int, five, uh, 12 in 5 stam versus 12 stam 6 in. If anyone doesn't know what Clam Weaving was... Uh, it was a little while ago. You could basically reset the auto swing timer by opening a clam. Most random bug ever, but yeah, that's what clam weaving was. They got they, it got patched pretty quick, I believe. Huge armor difference. Yeah, true. Actually, the clam weave tunic having 130 armor is pretty big uh, at this level. Uh, what else? Tree bark jerk, uh, jacket. I mean, sure if you can get it, but again, it's probably not worth the gold. Y you're you're better off grabbing. I think the black velvet robes are more common. Uh, Bracers. I think I don't know why I've got these on here. It's an easy eagle. Again, 30 eye level, right? There's there's gonna be. It's probably gonna be try worth trying to farm. This one's not too bad. 25 eye level. Trying to farm a certain area where the mobs are quite easy to kill that are like level 30, and you're gonna get loads of greens that 
are just so good for for the 25 meta. So if you can find a good spot to farm, you're gonna you're gonna get a, a lot of value, I think, out of selling stuff. Weapon, there's a few options. I've got Crescent Staff for now, but you can also go like Twisted Chanter. It's pretty similar, right? This one is nice because it has Spirit as well. <clears throat> I don't rate either of these two. Eagle Staff, nah, it's just worse. So yeah, the Crescent Staff is good. Ember Stone Staff is good. Slightly worse than the Crescent Staff, I would say. Um, from Wailing Caverns, so it's not that hard to get. The Shredder Operating Gloves are pretty easy to get from the pages, but um, yeah, one of these eagles is going to be Biss. So yeah, this this belt looks a good chunk better. I mean, you obviously have these options as well. Uh, you got the Keller's gir Girdle, Belt of Rugal, but this one kind of takes it from the raid. Uh, what have we got on on legs? Silver Fred Pants. So this one is is a bit tricky. You've got a few options here. You've obviously, got the uh, the double seven eagles versus eight four four. I actually think that the eagles are probably probably better. Twenty eight eye level ones are going to be the most obtainable. I think some of these items are actually like there's a lot of of boe stuff on here of the eagle, right? So I think uh, uh, unless we see some really nice things coming out of the Ashenvale PvP event and BFD to cover those slots. Some of these items are going to go for a fair bit, you know, having gold is going to be important. But yeah, eagle legs looking pretty, pretty clicker. And then you got these boots. These boots are interesting. So these are just made from, uh, they've got two things. It's like a, a, a weird item that you look like you get from the raid. And I don't know how many, you get, many you're going to get. And then just spider silk boots. And this looks insanely good because this is just a six second PS and a five minute cooldown on yourself. And then obviously a bit of damn and hit. So these look fantastic. The uh, ring, we've obviously got a nice little deep deep fathom ring. Decent. Uh, and then it's just an eagle ring, I think it's going to be. This advisor's ring, not bad. Two mana per five is pretty good. Uh, we've got planes ring, eight stam, three int. This looks to be very, very, very unlikely that you're going to get one of these. Um, these are going to go for absolute bank. Oh, yeah. Tell me salami as well, yeah. Like... 0.1% zone drop in RF, RFK. Uh, so you're better off just grabbing a couple of Nomrigan bands of the Eagle, honestly. Uh, obviously, we've got the Arena Grandmaster, and then there's also the Rune of Perfection, right? This is the the pen rune. But actually, I think as a priest, this probably isn't that worth it. So yeah, your best bet is just Arena Grandmaster if you can get it. And then obviously, Insignia of the Horde. And then Dancing Flame. I thought this looked interesting, because thinking about it, right? Gravestone Scepter is from BFD, right? It's from a quest. Now, this quest may not be in the game, and it's like head and shoulders above most other stuff. But then you got Dancing Flame, 33 DPS, 1.4 speed. Uh, and it's from a quest in a quest line in Thousand Needles, the one where you have to jump off the pillar. It's from the end of that chain. And I don't know if there's any any good alternatives for Alliance. I'll have to do an Alliance bis list as well. I most likely will do some, some slight changes to it, and then put the link to this in the wow. description of the YouTube video tomorrow. But yeah, this is the talents now. Uh, so we only get 16 points, so I'm probably going to go something like this. Your other options are something like this. Or something like this, I would say. Uh, 16 points into Shadow is generally garbage. Like, if you look, how we, what are we going to end up with? We're going to end up with this, 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 this. Okay, the Fear is nice, 4 second off Fear. But, like, okay, we've got 1 point in play, now we're kind of stuck. There's not a lot else to get that's good. You could go like this, but it's like, why? There's no point. So you're like, okay, you've got three points left. What's it going to go in? Probably like this or something. And then you got like one point. It's just like overall, it's just horrible looking, right? For the sake of getting Mind Flare, which is not really that good um, at this level. So yeah, I don't I don't think Shadow is going to be a thing. The spec just doesn't, doesn't sit right for me. What about a Holy spec? Well, if we have a look, we're going to probably have something like this. Um... Uh, Nova, of course, and then where do we go from here? Well, it's not going to be blessed recovery. Blessed recovery is really bad. Um, inspiration is probably a, a play at least one point in it. Uh, interesting, it says increases armor by eight percent for fifteen sec after getting a a crit from Flash. Heal, Greater Heal, or Prayer of Healing. It's going to be interesting to see if they update the talents for things like Penance. Yeah, it, it, this is the thing, right? Holy, there's not that much really good stuff early on. 
It's it's a lot of kind of more filler stuff, and then you want to get to the juicy stuff right down here. But you don't get that far because you only have 16 points. So you could go more points in inspiration, but again, if it's not proccing from penance, you can't proc this with flash heal rank what one spam because flash heal rank one is actually your max rank flash heal at level 25. It's gonna just rinse your mana away, right? So I don't know about inspiration. I think if you're gonna go this build, you would stop here and you have 11 points and you would chuck the rest of the points in either Blackout or Unbreakable Will. We'll talk about runes in a sec. I just have some random ones selected at the moment, Angel Wrath. We'll talk about them shortly. But yeah, so this is the Holy Build. Uh, and then my personal favorite, I think, is going to be this one, which is this uh, and this. So you're, you're getting better shields. You're getting Martyrdom, which is okay. You've got inner focus and meditation, so you get extra value from your spirit. So yeah, that's that's. I think this is the build I'm going to be going. Uh, obviously, again, subject to change. Is meditation really better than blackout with having a second arc? Again, another thing to consider. Uh, like I said, it's subject to change. You can arguably only get three points in blackout. What you could do is you could say, okay, I'm going to drop healing focus, right, and I'm going to run penance because penance does not does not get pushed back by damage at all. So this does actually, doesn't actually benefit Penance at all in any way. So what are you going to get from this? Right? What is going to benefit you? It's going to benefit you on Flash Heal, right? And it's going to benefit you on, on Heal slash Great Heal, which arguably you shouldn't be casting while you're getting hit anyway, right? So you could skip this then, right? And you could go five. But then it means you're running Penance to death. Why not points in one? So this is another thing I wanted to talk about. You also have the option to put points in one like this. And ones, if you if you can get a good wand, ones actually might be a substantial chunk of damage. You think going for Mind Blast and Twisted Fate build is worth it? I think Twisted Fate's actually not good at all. Or Twisted Twisted Faith, sorry. Vo Void Plague just beats it out every time. It's basically another Shadow of Pain. But like less mana cost. I, I honestly, I really want to run Death, and that brings me to Runes. I would love to run this. You know me, I, I like playing aggro. I would, I would like to run this. Void Plague, I think, is a no-brainer. Serendipity, definitely an option. Considering that this says, healing with flash heal reduces the cast time of your next lesser heal, great heal, or prayer mending. I'm not serendipity, what I'm talking about. Strength of soul. <clears throat> now, it says lesser heal, heal, great heal, and flash heal reduce the remaining duration of weakened soul on targets they heal by foresight. So what's to stop you from just spamming lesser heal into your weakened soul now for 30 mana, 1.5 second cast? Why not? You can just shield someone and then spam lesser heal on them and then shield them again. I think your options for the runes are going to be strength of soul and void plague, void plague, depending on if you want to play, you know, defensively or aggressively. And then leg rune is going to be homunculi, barrier or pom. I think barrier is too static. Not a big fan of that. So I think mostly you're going to be playing pom. Maybe in duels you'll play barrier, but any sort of BG's world well, PvP, going to be homunculi and, and permanent. And then penance versus death. This is like the most painful choice in the history of WoW. Deep fire. Mate, you can't go deep anything. We've got a fucking one inch penises for 25, man. Look at this shit. Actual chodes. Like chode spec for everyone. Let's go, boys. The thing is, like, I would love to take death. You know me. Look at the damage on it. The damage on death is higher than the damage on mind blasts. But yeah, look at the penance healing. 171 healing per tick. Shadowed pain is going to be rank four. No, it's not. Rank four is at 26. That's unfortunate. It's going to be rank three that we learn at 18. So Void Plague actually looking like it's going to do more damage. So Void Plague, six second cooldown, but it looks better than pain. It'll be interesting to see how much it does. As undead, what level do you get DP? 20? Let's have a look at DP. So that's similar damage to pain, right? Anyway, so that's the, the free dots. I said my bet about the runes. I was going to bring up my little dock. Google Docs. I wrote down some thoughts. See, look, I was ill. I'm not streaming, but I was still busy. Yeah, that's what I said before. Strength of Soul is a decent option for Disc and BGs. Um, abusing things like Lesser Hill Rank 1, obviously going to be resetting it really fast. So that's problematic. I can probably delete that. That's incorrect. But later metas isn't going to solve that because you're just going to Flash Hill Rank 1 instead. So you reset the weakened soul, so it's just going to be... It's going to be a really boring playstyle, but really strong. 
Um, so I think just this needs to be reworked. Make it a, a button that you can press, right? You press a button and it zaps all your fucking weakened souls and you can shield again. Uh, serendipity is like PvE mostly. Uh, but it's kind of sad for PvE because most of the stuff on here you don't even get. You don't get Greater Heal, right? Or Prayer of Healing. Until later levels. So the only thing this works on is your heal. Which is like rank fucking 2 or something. Or 3. I mean, shield is mostly like... It's like a damage moving effect, right? Like, you're a lot harder to get bursted down if you've got shields. Like, it's not... Like, okay, yeah, efficiency is 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 worse. But you're trading the efficiency for safety. Uh, then, we, obviously, we've got Void Plague. No... No... Um, no bad words about this one. I think it looks interesting. It's going to be cool to play with. Uh, and then Twisted Faith. Uh, we were talking about this the other day, and the guy just did some quick maths, basically saying that there's almost no scenario where Twisted Faith is actually going to be more damaged than Void Plague. Uh outside of this very small window where you mind blast mind flay but you're not going to be taking mind flay at 25 anyway because the spec sucks uh, and mind play kind of sucks at that level so this talent is kind of out of place in the 20 meta or 25 meta so i suggested that they they move this to a later later meta and put something else here that's going to be more interesting because you're basically never going to take this this is always going to be better are these suggestions going back to blizzard yeah i sent send the doc over um Okay, so Prayer of Mending. Pretty standard, other than the fact that it also has this part now. <laughs> Next time they take damage or receive healing, it pops. So it, it's going to make it a lot easier to bounce it now. I'm assuming this is going to work off Prayer of Mending ticks. Uh, off Renewed ticks. Uh, homunculi is a nice new new um, tool. It's going to be interesting to see how it works. Yeah, these guys last two minutes. Um, and they reduce attack speed, attack power, and armor. I don't know how much buy, but they're just annoying little fuckers, basically. They don't hit that much, but I'm guessing they're going to push back spells as well, which is cool. Shared Pain might be alright in BGs. If you want to put up some, some Shadow of Pains, it'd be really annoying. Put up loads of Shadow of Pains. This is quite efficient, right? You get three pains for one pain. That's going to be a lot of AoE damage. Like, you could arguably do some sort of, um, some, some sort of Shadow Priest play with this. Where is it? Shared pain. Uh, maybe mine, sir, even. I don't know how much damage this is going to do. And then you just play, like, some really dodgy shadow build in BGs. The damage might be insane. I don't know. But, yeah, this this spec actually could be really good at BGs. It plays barrier with pain suppression. Yeah, this is a shame they put this in. I think barrier just overall sucks. I'm not a big fan of it. They gave barrier for the PvE Andes. I think it's fine to be in the game for PvE. Some talents are going to be for PvE. I think that making this castable on a player doesn't change anything for pve but makes it more usable in pvp uh then obviously we've got death damage is really high it's higher than mind blast gonna be hard to choose between this and penance both are gonna be very good circle of healing is pve uh obviously penance healing is great this is what i'm saying by the way this is gonna be like what was it like this is gonna be like 150 mana cost or something mine sir 140 maybe gonna be spicy as fuck to cast really expensive there's definitely some interesting runes but uh there's some not so interesting stuff as well give discs disperse it would be nice to see some form of a mana return so cool spells i like to see come back leap of faith spectral guys faith re fade removing slows uh slash of freedom angelic feather chastise shadow fiend but something i thought of um thought of earlier when i was going to pick up eli like what if there was a, a spell that actually empowered your wand right okay we have a talent that buffs it but it's kind of boring so what if the, you had a button that you could press and it made your wand do something different for like the next few few shots right so i thought oh yeah what if you could um what if you could like empower your wand and then the next three wand specs had like a small knockback on them so you could like interrupt casts you could push them back away from you um you know as a sort of a defensive you could use it aggressively it would be it would just be really cool in terms of gameplay and it would also change up what you're doing so it's like it's not a big enough knockback that it's gonna send people flying off the edge of places right but you can do a lot of cool out plays with it they need to focus runes on things that are classic things not just bringing spells for other expansions exactly like you're talking about so this is the thing right they have brought back a few spells they haven't been that creative with adding in new things 
So what I would say is I would like to see maybe 50% of the stuff in terms of the runes, maybe half, something like that, <coughs> be existing spells. And then the other half be actually just completely new things that, that they're trying to fit into the, the classic meta, that fit into the game. Be <coughs> because I don't, <coughs> I don't think it's good if they give too much mobility. I think mobility is a curse, but I think if we're gonna if we're gonna come up with ideas, I think this is like this is where we start, right? This is the checklist because I think there's a lot of things that Blizzard put in, and it's like okay, they tick this box, but like these boxes don't always get ticked, right? This, these these boxes almost don't always even get thought about. It's like they stop here, and then they're like, yeah, okay, this is fun, let's put it in, because they don't want to think deeper about what could actually work because it takes time this 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 one here will eliminate like 80 percent gone of, of ideas it's a game right at the end of the day abilities should be both fun to fun to play with and against as as much as possible right like if we can take three of these i think that's good i think this one is kind of important but still if it's not too far out then it's okay right should we pause this for now and continue another time and we'll go and um, we'll go and play some hardcore for a bit. I like this though. We came up with some cool ideas. It was fun. Tanking, you've been fed already, mate. Tanking's absolutely raging. I haven't fed him. Do you need some feeding? You hungry? Oh, he knows that word. You know that word, don't you? Come on. <laughs>